Hey guys, Chad here with another video of Canine Revolution Dog Training. Today we've got a female Doberman. She's about uh, three years old and we're just going to be going through some touch pad work today. Now what the touch pad is, as you can see I've got her going on it right now, which is, is that black overturned, uh, basically that's a livestock feeding bowl, but we just overturn it and then we teach the dog to put their feet on it. So this is an exercise, uh, a mental exercise, mental energy exercise. We call it a brain game. But in the long run, you could use a touchpad for a variety of things in training to include uh, specialized training work, sport work, uh, development of different body positions and understandings from the dog. So it's a very useful training tool for a lot of different applications. Uh, but just for a pet dog, this could be a great way to mentally exercise them and uh, increase their understanding of different behaviors, okay? So the way I'm gonna develop this is uh, like you see me doing here. I've got uh, some food rewards in my left hand. I've got her leash in my right hand. I've got the bait bag positioned on my left hip. So I just take food out of the bait bag, put it in my left hand and lure her, like you see me doing right here, onto the touch pad. As soon as both of the front feet touch the touch pad, I say yes. And then I move forward very quickly and allow her to chase my hand for the food. So right here, she's about to touch it. She touches, I say yes, move forward very quickly. And then she can come and chase the food and get it out of my hand at that point, okay? Uh, the main thing to pay attention to while you're doing it at this stage, and this is just a beginning stage, is uh, you've got to be moving in a straight line from your start point to the touch pad. Um, that way the dog is 100% cogn cognitive about what exactly they're doing. All right, so notice I move in a straight line to the touch pad. She touches it. She's trying to figure out where it's at, right? She touches it. I say yes. She can chase the hand, get the food. All right, so that's the concept here at the very beginning stages of touch pad work, the foundational pieces. Um, this is going to take hundreds of repetitions, you know, in order for the dog to begin to make the connection via classical conditioning that uh, what they need to do whenever you start this is put both front feet on the touch pad. So now moving to the next piece of touch pad work, which is uh, duration on the touch pad. So I led her to the touch pad. Uh, I say good instead of yes, and then I reward her while she maintains her front feet on the touch pad. All right, so right here, I have her go touch it. She touches it. I say good, allow her to eat the food out of my hand while she's on it, okay? And then while she stays there, I reach into my bait bag and reward her again. And I'm, at this point, it's just an exercise in duration maintaining her understanding of uh, she's going to get rewarded if she's on that touch pad but if not she's not going to get the reward okay so from a different angle right here bring her right to the touch pad say good when she's on it allow her to have the food and then uh, a, a repeat of that essentially to further her understanding of the touch pad and continue to develop uh, you know the touch pad behavior with her so I'm going to take her right to it again this time I'm not using a food rule food lure because she's progressing very quickly I'm going to use the leash she touches it I say good reward and then okay and then I do it again with the leash instead of the food lure so that would be the third step in a touch pad progression not every dog's going to move this quick right um, so you're just going to have to take your time and work on it repetitiously all right but until that next video see y'all next time